Hello, so today we are going to talk about how to set up Checkpoint VPN and Remote Desktop. This is a method for remoting into the work network from a computer that you've got off-site somewhere, typically at home, you know, work from home scenario. So there's two components to this, and one is the Checkpoint VPN, which is what actually facilitates the connection between your home network and the work network, and then Remote Desktop gets you into your actual work PC. So the things that you're going to need for this, you're going to need the Checkpoint software, the Checkpoint VPN software. That's a download that's going to be provided to you by your IT person. This is something that you'll install on the computer that you're remoting from. So for example, your home PC. And then the rest of the stuff that you're going to need is information. And this again will be provided by your IT person. You're going to need some server info, uh, which is going to consist of an IP address and possibly a port number on the end of it. Um, that'll be, that will be provided for you. You're going to have a username that's specifically for the VPN and a password that's specifically for the VPN. And then finally, you're going to need a remote desktop IP address. That is the IP address on your work network of your work PC. And then you need to know the username uh, for that work PC. And sometimes that username includes a some domain information along with the username. You're, again, your IT person is going to provide this, so however they provide it to you, that's how that needs to be put in. And then finally, your remote desktop password. That's basically, that's the same password that you use when you're accessing your PC at work. So we are going to walk through all the steps required to set this up. But this is the stuff that you need. The only download you need is this Checkpoint VPN software. The rest of it is information. Okay, so we're going to walk through the process of setting up Checkpoint Endpoint Security VPN on a Mac and also set up remote desktop access for a work from home scenario. So the first thing that you're going to need is the software. And you can get this uh, from your IT person. It's kind of difficult to find this file. I have found just by searching on your own at the Checkpoint site. So lean on your IT person. They've got some resources that uh, make that a little easier to find. The version that we've got here at the time of this video is Endpoint Security VPN version E86.50. Your version may differ from that if you're doing this later um, at a different time. So to launch it, we're going to double click this. And that opens this little window here. And we're going to take this Endpoint Security VPN package file. And we're going to double click that. I like to select them first and then double tap. There we go. You'll get security warnings like this from time to time as you will installing any software. So just, you know, read those over and then click. Typically, you're going to click allow. Sometimes it's going to ask you for your password. Sometimes, depending on your, how your Mac is set up, it might ask you for your, your fingerprint if you're set up that way. Uh, it's all just, you know, the Mac making sure you know what you're doing here. So we click continue. It's going to show a software license agreement. You can read over this if you like. It's a boilerplate type of thing. And we click continue. To continue, you must agree. So we will agree. Okay, now on the Mac, it offers two different components here. There's remote access VPN, and then there's firewall. I typically do not install the firewall, and that's there's not really any particular insidious reason not to install the firewall. Uh, it's just I'm of a philosophy that it's best to only install exactly what you know for sure you need and nothing more. That's the way to keep a computer from getting cluttered up with a bunch of software. So we're just going to install remote access VPN. And then we're going to click continue. It reminds us how much space it takes up. We just click install. And then it asks for authentication to install software, as all Macs do. And there you go. On this one, it was a very quick 
install process. And right away, it's prompting, hey, there's no site configured. Would you like to configure a new site? A site in the endpoint uh, security VPN software is basically, it's, it's a, a set of information telling the VPN client how to connect to your workplace, to your server, or to your, you know, more, more appropriately, to the router at your workplace. That's what this connection is. And it's just noticing, hey, we don't have any information like that. You want to go ahead and set that up now? Uh, we're going to say yes, because we have all that information that we mentioned earlier in the video. So now there's just a step-by-step -step process. This is the site setup wizard. Click Next. And here is where it's looking for the server address or name. Most of the time, this is an IP address. And sometimes the IP address has additional information like a port number on the end of it with a colon. However that information was provided to you, that's what you key in here. So we're going to put in our information. This is grayed out for privacy purposes because this is a real setup we're doing here. So now we can set a display name, and I, I like to do this. It's not a necessary step, but there's also no reason not to do it. Basically, we can tick this box here and then type in something that's a little more recognizable than just a bunch of numbers. So um, we're, for this video, we're just going to call this uh, My Office. Okay, and that's all that is is a label. You could make it anything you wanted to. Um, it's just a preference that I do. All right, so next. Now, it's going to pop up. This is a normal thing to pop up. It looks like a, you know, some kind of a dangerous warning or whatever. It's just recognizing that there's, you know, this is security in play and, and etc. All you do is click Trust and Continue. There we go. Now, it's asking what authentication method we're going to use. We are going to use a username and password to sign in. So that is checked by default, and we just click Next. And there you go. The site is created successfully. So we're going to click Finish. Would you like to connect? We're going to say no, because I want to show you how to connect manually. OK, so here we are. This is still the, the software setup wizard. It is complete now, and we can click, click Close. We can also close this, but I wanted to point out one thing here. If you come to a point where you need to remove the endpoint security VPN, the normal way for many types of programs uh, on a Mac, the normal way you can remove those is you click Go and then Applications. You can go find that. Here we go. And you could just click and drag that over to the trash. And that basically is uninstalling the program. That's not enough to fully uninstall the endpoint security VPN. Because of the types of components that are put in for networking, um, that's not enough to remove it, and it can put it into a weird state if you do that. So something to just keep in mind is it might not be a bad idea to keep this, uh, let's just dismiss this notice here, to keep this installer file around so that you can launch this window again because it does have an uninstaller right here which will run the necessary commands to clean out and remove endpoint security completely. Just something to make a mental note of when it's, you know, in the future, if you need to remove this, you don't do it the normal way. You, there's an extra step here. You need to do this instead, and this will fully remove the program. I have tested that on this, this uh, version of macOS, by the way, and it works perfectly. It's very quick. So for now, we're just going to close this, though. And then you will now see a little padlock up here in this tray area. So up here is where we can connect or see the status of the VPN. The VPN must be up and running in order for the next thing, the remote desktop, to work. So if you hover over this, it will tell you whether it's connected or disconnected. And then here we can actually choose to connect. Now this is where you would enter the VPN credentials. Uh, this is a username and password for your VPN. Uh, they would be provided by your IT person. So I'm going to go ahead and key these in. Da, da, da. 
that, 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 and that. And we click, so now we've got the username and password entered and now we click connect. And up here it's gonna tell us and sometimes it makes a little beeping noise like that. And you see now that this has a green dot on it and every once in a while there's like a little, I don't know what that is, like an EKG that goes by showing heartbeat. That's just to let you know it's active and, and there's connectivity. So your computer, your Mac now, is connected to the office. But in order to access your PC, we need another component. So we are going to download that now. And the, the best place to get that, maybe the only place, is the App Store. So we're going to launch the App Store here. And we're going to go into search. And we're going to search for Microsoft Remote Desktop. And just tap Enter. And the first result that should show up is Microsoft Remote Desktop. We want to make sure it's the Microsoft one. And that's why we typed in that full thing instead of just typing in Remote Desktop. Because there's quite a few Remote Desktop apps. Uh, some of them that are for other purposes some of which might be a little shady, none of which are really going to work for what we're doing here. We're, we're connecting to a Windows PC at an office. So we want to download the remote desktop. If you've never downloaded this before, like I have on this computer, this button may look a little different to you, but ultimately you want to download, go through whatever steps to download this app until you get to a screen here that says open. Okay, so I'm going to close the App Store window here, and this is Microsoft Remote Desktop. So we want to add a connection to our PC, which is going to work now because we have the VPN running. It's got our green dot, and it's connected. So we're going to click Add PC. And here for the PC name, that's going to be, very often it's an IP address. Sometimes you'll be given a PC name whatever you were given by your IT person for the remote desktop PC, you're going to type that in here. Oops. There we go. Now for user account, you can set this, a, you can actually add and set up the user account here. But for these purposes, we're just going to have it be that we'll have it ask us for it when it needs it. And that's really all that you need to configure here. If you, if you know for sure that you want to print as part of this remote connection, like print to a printer that's near you at home from your work computer, then you might go over here to the Devices and Audio tab and tick this box for printers. I'm not going to tick that box because I'm not going to be printing. Okay? All the rest of these can stay exactly as they are. We're just going to click Add. So now we've got our PC showing up here. And since our VPN is running, we can double tap this. And now it's going to be asking for our remote desktop username, which your IT person will have provided for you. Sometimes it's preceded by a domain name and then a backslash. That is the case for us here. You can't see it because it's blurred out, but we're typing in the username. exactly as provided to us. And then the password is going to be the same password that you use when you're signing in at work. Like if you were sitting at your work PC there. And we click continue. Okay, the first time you connect to this PC in, via this method, it's normal for it to say, hey, this certificate couldn't be verified, blah, 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 blah. That's completely okay. You know, that's, that's, that's fine and normal. We just click continue. And it shouldn't prompt us for that on future attempts to connect. We're just waiting for it to load here. There we go. We are now eroded into the work PC. When we're done, if we want to disconnect from the work PC, all you do is you take your mouse all the way up to the top of the screen. And you see that how that dropped down? Now we can see our Mac again. Because by default, this remote desktop is taking up your whole screen, right? It looks like you're on the Windows PC. Go all the way to the top. There's our menu. And we're just going to go to the little red X here and disconnect. 
Now, just like when you're connecting in from Windows, when you disconnect from the remote PC like that, it stays running. It keeps what's open on the screen and all of that. So if you wanted to disconnect and come back later, um, it should still have all that stuff open on the screen as long as the computer hasn't been used by someone else or hasn't been restarted overnight or something like that. So it maintains that session even when you're not using it. All right. Now, before we close the remote desktop here, I want to show you that it may be desirable to have this remote desktop shortcut here that's down at the bottom have that easy to find. Otherwise, you got to go hunting through the applications menu and, and find Microsoft Remote Desktop to launch this again. So we're going to pin this down here. So if we go down there and we click and hold, we're going to see options. Options, we want to keep in dock. Now that icon moves over here, and even if we close Remote Desktop, it's going to stay there. In fact, even if we click and hold on this and choose quit to force it to shut down, it's still there. And actually, you can move this wherever you want by clicking and dragging it. So when we're done with our VPN session, it's polite and also a good idea, security-wise, to disconnect from the VPN. And we can do that by clicking on the little padlock here and choosing disconnect. Are you sure? Yes. And there you go. Next time we want to connect, we will click connect here. And it's always going to ask you to put in the VPN password. It does not, there is no option to save this. That's for security purposes. We click connect. There we go. It is connected. And now we could go down here to remote desktop and we could double click this and there we go we're prompted to log in and connect to the remote PC again when you're done click it and hit disconnect are you sure yes that's VPN on the Mac with checkpoint so that is the process for installing configuring and using the VPN and remote desktop to your work office the one thing to keep in mind this is the most common thing that will come up is the VPN, that's that gold padlock that we fiddled with, that must be connected before the remote desktop part will work. If you try to launch the remote desktop and the VPN is not connected, it's going to give you an error. It's not going to be able to find your computer because you're not actually connected to the work network. So make sure the VPN, the gold padlock, is active with its little green dot before you try using the remote desktop and you'll be fine. If you have any other questions, be sure to direct those to your IT person and have a great day.